the first civilization to take Africans out of this continent were the Arabs and they took Africans from the eastern coast and he said that in that part of the world there are not many Africans who remain because it was in the business of the Arab enslaver to castrate Africans we never say that but we must say it because it is historically significant then the Europeans came the Portuguese came the Spaniards came the Germans came the French came the Belgians came Africa became the hunting ground for the European colonizers and we were the spot we built our ancestors built the United States of America our ancestors built Europe and when slavery had lost its shine and sheen the Europeans abolished it but they replaced it with yet another pernicious enterprise the colonization of Africa the Europeans sat in Berlin in Germany in 1884 and they looked at the map of Africa and puzzled it out the British had their share the Germans had their share and Tanzania or Tanganyika was their share as was Rwanda and Urundi the Spaniards were Johnny come lately is in the arena and they got little Equatorial Guinea and Southwest Africa the French were here the Portuguese were here and we were colonized this time round they did not take us away they came here and they controlled us and they told us not in so many words that we were children of a lesser God and we were treated as if we were children of a lesser God in fact they told us that on the day of creation we were merely hewers of wood and drawers of water and if anybody were to doubt it in 1948 it was more blatant when Hendrik Fafut instituted the apartheid regime in South Africa but yet there is a sense in which the God that we worship never sleeps the colonial enterprise ran its course and the European tribes the Europeans never called themselves tribes they called them nations were engaged in a war first in 1918 the European tribes fought and they had something called the League of Nations which died then they fought again in 1945 and what is unique about the European nations is that when they are engaged in tribal wars they call them world wars so there was another war between 1945 1939 and 1945 and after that a new kid on the block the United States of America took the lead in saying that colonialism was something that was undesirable but at that time Africans were never quiet those who had been taken out had already started agitating many of us here will remember Marcus Garvey of whom Bob Marley says Garvey was a buffalo soldier in the heart of America and